Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to another one of my videos. My name is Rob, I'm the Manic Gaming Guy. Today we're going to be taking my toge beast up Pike's Peak. How will Berg on his roads? Well, we will find out in this video. The car in hand we will be driving today is a 2.2 litre inline four, pushing out a staggering 505 brake horsepower. This car can do over 200 miles per hour given the chance. It will take corners like a lunatic with a crazy weight distribution of 67% in the front with the rear wheels pushing out 70% of the power. It's all-wheel drive. This car is insane. It was made for Toge and it's going to be challenging the Pikes Peak and I think it would do a very fair challenge. Just one downside to this challenge. I've never been on Pikes Peak before. So sit tight, hold on as we go for this crazy adventure of me learning Pikes Peak and I'm trying to get up there as quick as possible. So please enjoy and if you like what you see, hit that like button, maybe subscribe because it might make me do more of these. Ah, let's do this. Um, so yeah, here we go. Here we go. And we're gonna try and do Pikes Peak scenario. After losing the first 20 minutes of footage because I've got to turn my microphone on, I go into this run with high expectations, achieving some beautiful speeds around some crazy corners. As you can see, I slowly work my way up, skidding around, mentally pushing myself harder and harder and harder. getting higher and higher now this is the most epic feeling this is the furthest i have been who would i do it on this run this is so successful i've not had a crush in like eight minutes what is this miracle that is happening as my heart beats harder and harder i can see myself getting further up this track further than i've ever been before the confidence was high in this one my hands were sweaty, my foot was to the floor. What could I do but from ask for more and more? Speed! How oh, we climb this mountain and we get up this peak. Oh, will we succeed? Oh, it feels very high, very exhilarating. We can do this. I feel it. I built up so much confidence. I am just roaring down these roads. Just roaring. The struggle was real. Down here, it's like, well, now I've got to load all these trees back in. No, no, no. You trippy ass game. Let me just uh, give the computer a little chance to think. Or do I, do I just make the graphics worse? No, it was fine before. I should be, I should be all right. Let me uh, reduce the graphics. Still early hours in this challenge I've set myself. I find myself battling with frames per second. I just keep losing the odd scene and the car keeps dropping out on the wheel and I just can't control it anymore. The stress is getting to me so much. And I'm learning the road as I keep pushing myself harder. I keep wanting to succeed. Will I succeed? I want to succeed. Get out of the way, trees. 
If it's turned trees into spectators, then they feel more like a rally. Drop it down to first gear. Oh, that's that's where you want to be in the cockpit view, I guess. Get those corners right. To first gear again. Cut that corner nicely. No sideways action because this isn't really. No! No, no, that's a tree. Oh, there goes my wheel. Oh, there goes my wheel. Nonetheless, the phrase per seconds was too much. I have to retire. I have to come back another day after tuning the car in automation to not have so many spotlights underneath it because I want neon lights. Yes, that's why the game is tripping out, because I have about 50 headlights. Yeah, don't do that, you cars, apparently. But it's okay, because we will be back another day to give this another go. Right, now, this is where not been many times. It's going to be some concentration phase for me going. Oh, we'll do that again here. Down to first gear like that probably isn't very nice. This corner's a bit lethal. No! <laughs> you know, I might have. The struggle was real. I've been at this now for about half an hour. Slowly creeping up. Learning corner by corner, crash by crash. So intensely pushed myself up this peak. The climb was really struggled struggle was hard. But I was determined. I am determined I will succeed. Not without a lot of hard pain and misery. Struggle. Learn these roads. Race up to 12.4 miles of the Pikes Peak Tommy Grubber. Here we go. Hope I've got force feedback, I have. And the car is still. Okay, there we go. Oh, right, we'll start that again. My car was in automatic still. It's not anymore. Clutch, which I don't have, the game does that for me. Oh, we're a bit slowly gear changing. Then it's get warmed up. Oh, pushed it. Apex right, lows on that one, sway the car into this corner, hold it down. Oh, push the apex a bit too much on this car again. A bit of power. Nothing wrong with this driving. And we're off. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go restart because I obviously need to warm up a bit. This is another day. You guys go and think halfway through this. And uh, yeah, we'll be back on to trying to smash some proper times. There we go. Uh oh. Yeah, that's the car off. Yeah, okay. Need to drop it down that much. Keep her off the rails. Oh, the car's busted. The car's busted. It's another day and another dollar. It's time to give this thing another bella. I don't know. I was making up on the spot. It's time to give this peak a what for? I always forget it's there. Keep it in. We're in. 
No, no, no! I need to pay more attention. It's not looking good for me, but I can see the progression, and I can taste that victory getting closer and closer. Mm. So I shout the bell and keep pushing on. No! No! <laughs> Talk to get too much acceleration out of that. Start taking it easy now. Oh, don't crash, don't crash. Oh, it rolled it. Oh, my God. Are we okay? Did we survive that? Oh, no, that, that wheel's gone. Oh, it's doing so well. See more and more improvements as the odds get better and better, more favor for me. You can see the victory coming, and it's going to be glorious. I just want to get to the top now. I'm getting really fed up. We're on attempt number 40-ish, 50-ish, 60 -ish. We don't know. We've lost counts. But the taste was there. We knew it. We could feel it in our toes. We could hear it in the winds. The cows were laying down. We knew it weren't going to rain. But we knew the fact was a fact. I was going to succeed, and I did. And here it is. Enjoy me reaching to the top of Pikes Peak. Ignore the fact that I may have come off the road a couple of times. And one of them you probably shouldn't have drove away from. But I got to the road. I managed to continue. And I did it. So it is a successful uh, challenge. I have done it. it the scenario said I got to the top. So it counts, all right? Don't be like, dude, you fell off the road. That don't count. It, it counts. My car made it up the top, all right? It counts. This is it. Enjoy. Not like I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to get to the top. Not like I've got a time to beat or anything. So I'll get to the top, set a nice average time, and um, beat that later on in another date or use other cars to try and beat it. But have I not given myself enough time or something to learn this track? Is that what it is? It's a lot of corners, I guess. They're all new, none of them are alike. Oh, that was beautiful. Do love it, just settle in this car and then put your foot down. No! It didn't settle! Car's okay, I think. No. Lose a bit more throttle to try and keep it in the corner, then. Bit of speed, easy through here. Break on that corner, a little bit of blocks. Yeah, put it straight too much, straight into another corner. Big acceleration and brake. Acceleration. Not too acceleration. And brake. Oh, too many gears down. But had to brake a lot more than that. Use the brakes to settle the cars. Put my acceleration on way too early in that corner. Sending me out. Missing all my apex. Unsettle my car wrong then. Almost dip myself into the corner. Did 
Don't hit the verge again, as we did last time. Save yourself flying. Little tap of the handbrake. Yeah, it's not very good when you ain't got the camera swing around and off. You can't see where you're going after handbraking. Right, we're into the top half now. We haven't even passed the picnic area yet, have we? Oh my god, we've got ages to go. Settle the car. I think I have to try is learn this in cockpit view in some of these corners. It's um, a bit tricky to do them with this sort of angle. Don't get overconfident. Just because it's a bit straight, you know, you don't get enough straight. Like, you don't even go that fast in this track. It's gone. There's too many corners. Where's this one going? Right. They've coloured some of the corners in weird. It makes them look like you don't know where you're going. Two or three corners, you're like, is it going left or is it going right? Okay, that kind of worked out well, right, didn't it? Didn't mean to hit that verge, but you know, take what you're given. Grass on the main road, it's pretty normal. Right, I'm on instinct now, I have no idea what's coming up, I don't know where I am. Just going by whatever I see. Oh, we're at the picnic area. Alright, so yeah, I've only seen this place like three times. And anywhere beyond it, it's scary to me. Like this. Where's this going? See, I thought it was going to go right. Oh my. You learned to call it your roads in right. Jeez, where are they even going? So where's this going? Okay, to the left. Like I said, people, I don't know where I am now. I just want to try and not crash. I'll get to the top. This seems a bit sketchy. Mate, this car does not like to grip. As soon as it hits that gravel, it's off. <laughs> but you can almost use that to advantage, I guess. Any uh, uh, old school veterans off the Pikes Peak would know if I'm doing a good time or not. I have no idea. I was meant to do some research, have a look at Phil Man, see what his average time is, because I know he likes this one, he knows his track. And um, I'd like to see what sort of times he gets in his cars, so I can compare myself to them maybe. I remember watching Automotive Flux, Flex, I'm pretty sure it's him, I was watching doing Pikes Peak. And, um, what was it? What was it the sim guy, sim race guy? One of those two, and uh, they were doing all right until they hit the verge, a uh, blind grass. It was on about right at the top of here, and there's a corner, and they went flying. I don't want to hit that, so I need to be careful. Oh my god, what is this corner? Don't handbrake it. You know, you're just gonna mess it up. So take it nice and smooth. Keep going. This looks scary. I guess I could have had the map up that showed where I was going, that would have helped. But no. I'm doing things the hard way. I actually sent myself flying off one of these by accident with too much. Oh my days. Sure they designed some of these tracks to do that to you. Just make it seem like it's gonna keep going. Where are we at now? Seven minutes and seven seconds. I feel like we're getting to the top. I feel like they're really scary corners, corners some of these. Where's this road going? There we go. So this looks like it should be a nice easy ride. Yeah. 
and God knows where this is going. It's under brake locks. This is scary. I do not want to crash. Don't know where I am. I know I'm near the end. I recognise these bits. Not, not enough to know what I'm doing. Is this a corner you cut? No, it's not. It's not a corner you cut. That's not a corner you cut. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, just take it easy. You're almost at the top. You're almost at the top. Oh, what's this? Where am I going? I can't see anything. They're so blind, these corners. I can see the peak. This is exciting. Okay, it's okay. You can live with that one. You'll survive. You'll hopefully survive. So I was too busy looking up the mountain rather than where I was going. I'm too scared to bomb it. I don't want to crash. Why is this so long? This is such a long road. This just feels like well, I'm losing a lot of time. Oh, that was tight. So what are these corners? Who built this road? Oh my French. I hit the gravel. That gravel is lethal in this car. What are these little passing points? They're weird. Why would you put them on the corner? They look too tempted to drive over. Is this like a fast bit? No, it's not! Don't crash the car, please don't go crash the No, keep it on. No! 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 No, it was upside down. Come on, hold it in. Is the car okay? Is the car okay? The car's, the car's rolling. We've rolled it. But the car's still going. Come on, can it get up this hill? I don't care that we just rolled halfway down the hill. The rules are, if you keep going, you can keep going. All right, up this bit. Careful, careful. Oh my God, what's broken? Something's got to be broken, surely. Oh my God, how are we still going? That definitely should have been a reset. And somehow the car's still going. It don't feel right. But we're going. <laughs> it's such a bad time. Oh. Oh my days, we're at 10 minutes and 2 seconds. How are we still not at the top of this peak? I didn't think it was this long. I thought it was like a seven minute course. Or am I just going that slow? I'm just so careful on this gravel. Oh, this car. Oh, this car does not feel right. Is this it? We did it! 10 minutes and 50 seconds. Oh my God, put your handbrake on car. There we go. Oh, that's taken so long. Oh, that's taken so long. That's about an hour and 10 minutes worth of footage. I need to cut down now into a little 15 minute video for you guys. Well, yeah, something like that. Five minute introduction and then the 10 minute run of me panicking and crying and not rolling the car. Yeah, I'll have to do that again another time, but that's gonna be it for this video. Oh my days, thank you very much for popping by. Please like and subscribe because I'm going to try that again and you might want to watch it. Maybe we'll just make some more stupid cars and try and just knock that time and time to lower and lower and lower. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay. Oh. Wow, that's, that's, that was a moment. That was a moment. Has my car been renewed? It has. Hasn't got any of the roll damage anymore. anymore. So we did it. We managed to get to the top of Pike's Peak. We um, we may have crashed the car a couple of times, but the car kept going. So the walls. Ah, uh, you keep going. But yeah, what a what a track. Definitely going to um be coming here more often. That was a fun one to bring the Tokay cars to. Yeah, man, so many airpin corners, so many 
turn backs. What a tight road. Yeah, let me know what you thought of that video. Thanks very much for popping by. And I'll see you all in the next one. Woo! Thanks very much, guys, for watching that. I hope you've made it to the end and you really enjoyed it. I tried to be a little bit different with this video. Please let me know how you think it went. Please like and subscribe if you think it was worthy. Hey, if you think it was worthy of a like and subscribe, it's up to you. Like, I just do the old rimble ramble that like everyone is told to do in the old facey bookie woo. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing the scenario. The editing's a bit tedious, but I enjoyed doing the scenario. So let me know if you want me to do more of those because I'll be happy to uh, give them a go, I think. But from that, thanks very much for popping by. Uh, maybe click on one of the videos and uh, go check out another one. Have a good day. Love you all. Peace. Keep it real. Stay safe. Press the button.